Hey everyone, Ariel Abs here with the blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. Also hit on the little bell icon to be notified of our upcoming videos. This is a review of the Carl F. Bucherer Monero Peripheral 43 millimeter. This exact same watch is available by the brand in a smaller 40 millimeter size. It's a little bit over 40 millimeters, but that's why this is called the, uh, the Monero Peripheral 43 millimeter. The other one doesn't have 40 millimeter on the name. Just telling you if you get confused and you see a different watch, it looks identical at a smaller size. This watch is a well-made, albeit somewhat generic looking dress watch that has a really nice enthusiast grade in-house made automatic movement. This watch is probably not going to be the only watch in your collection. Uh, but if it is your only watch in your collection, if you are someone that just wants to have a watch like this as your daily wear, you'd be very happy with it. The movement inside is the A2050. It is an evolution of the original A1000 that Carl F. Bucherer released over a decade ago, and it was the first modern peripheral automatic, mo uh, automatic winding system movement on the market. Uh, it then turned into other versions of it, and then the A2000 came out, which has a little bit more of a traditional um, aesthetic to it. The A1000 was actually a little bit more high-tech looking in terms of the, the design of the bridges. And here you can see that Carl of Bucherer went back to a little bit more of a traditional look with uh, the polishes um, and the engloage and things like that. It still has a lot of wonderful angles, so it's still modern. You can see that even though it is an automatic movement, the rotor moves around the edge of the movement and that's why it's called a peripheral automatic. This execution which is, like I said, the A2050, has a subsidiary second dial and a date. And there's a lot of watches out there that have subsidiary second dials and the date. So it's sort of a theme of watch. Dauphin hands are done in a little bit of a unique way here. And I like how raised they are off the dial, which means that you have a high degree of legibility at a lot of different angles. This ver version of the Monero peripheral has a white dial, and there's a few other dials as well. I liked white because it's difficult to find a good legible white dialed watch. You'll find a lot of white watches, uh, white dialed watches aren't that interesting looking, so I like it for that purpose. The bracelet has a nice taper to it. Again, not the most original looking bracelet in the world, uh, but it is a uh, well designed bracelet and it does taper a little bit, it has a nice butterfly uh, deployant clasp. So, in addition to the nice view of the movement on the rear of the 43 millimeter case, which is um, just over 11 millimeters thick. And notice some of that really nice polishing on the case. You have the brushed surfaces and some nice angles there. So the bracelet's fine. It also comes on various types of straps. Anyways, as I was saying, this is the bigger version of the watch. Um, and I like that a little bit more just because of my own personal style. But I think that actually, if you're going to wear this as a dress watch, the 40 millimeter wide version might actually be a good option. Um, there are a lot of people that like the design of dress watches but wear short sleeves like me so a smaller watch doesn't always look as good a larger watch tends to look better and I did earlier say that the design is generic and what I meant by that is there's a lot of other watches out there that have this similar style of dial the reason you get this watch is because you like the conservatism of the dial but you want it done in a well-made execution Carla Bucherer is based in Lucerne and you have to imagine the person that travels to a city like of a city like Lucerne and wants to buy a Swiss made watch in some type of ambiguous Swiss style, but wants it to have some real watchmaking might because it has that great uh, A2000 in-house made movement. So there's a lot, of, a lot of things to discuss in this watch and it's, it's pretty well made in, in pretty much all regards. Again, not the most original design, but Carl F. Bucherer has other watches for that. All in all, I quite, I quite like it. And the Carl F. Bucherer Monero Peripheral 43, mil, 43 millimeter has a retail price of $7,200 and you can see the full review on a block to watch. Thanks.